Hello everyone! In this video, we're going to look how to configure one of the most requested and effective types of promotions – a discount on each nth product in the cut. With this promotion, a customer receives a discount for every fixed number of products added to the cut. The Magento 2 Special Promotions Pro extension provides several variations of the rule – percent discount, fixed discount and fixed price. Let's start from the first one and see how to correctly configure it with our example each second hoodie with the 25% discount. Let's sign in to the admin panel and open the cut price rules grid where we can manage all the existing rules and also easily create a new one. To do this, you can duplicate any rule or click the button Add new rule. Let's correctly fill in all the necessary fields. First of all, we should give a name to the promotion and add some words to describe it for customers. Specify the websites and also the customer groups for whom the discount will be available. You may also add a coupon code to your promotion. We'll talk about coupons in more detail some later. You may easily set the discount usage limit for all logs in customers. Also, let's set the time frames for our promotion. Another substantial moment is setting the rule priority. It is especially important when you run several active rules in your store simultaneously. In the Actions section, you should specify which items will participate in the offer and how they will participate. Firstly, we'll specify the rule type. In our example, it will be each second, fourth, sixth with 15% off. Then the exact discount percent number and the maximum number of items to which the discount can be applied. For example, if we set two here, it means that if a customer buys six hoodies, only two of them will be discounted. Also, you can set the maximum discount amount and let's define the step for the rule. Here you're choosing how the products will be sorted. If you want to apply the discount to the cheapest products first, you should switch this setting to the most expensive. Here we're going to specify, based on what price, the discount will be calculated. Let's choose the original price. We're skipping the items, which already have a special price. You may apply the discount to the shipping amount if needed. Use for is another one important setting. In our case, we need the discount to be applied to all products in the cut. Enable the Discard the Subsequent Rules option to stop the lower priority rules when our promotion will be activated. Now it's time to define the products to which our rule will be applied. Here you can fill the product's SKUs, category or any other product attribute to pick up the necessary items. In our case, we are typing here a list of SKUs. This time, we won't apply a free shipping in our promotion. The extension provides you with the capability to highlight your promotion in order to make it more visible to customers. In our example, we're going to add a banner after the product description. Here we can specify the products to display the banner on. Fill in the product SKUs here, comma separated. Now let's add an image. We're choosing the appropriate tab and easily uploading a banner here. Also, you can add the alt and the text that will be shown on the mouse hover. It is also possible to upload a product label that will be shown at the upper left corner of the product's photo. Now let's save our rule. We can also see it in our cut price rules grid. It's time to check how the promotion looks on the storefront. Let's go to an appropriate category page. Women tops hoodies and sweatshirts we're choosing the hoodie that participates in the promotion. At the product page, we can see the promotions banner. Let's fill in the quantity, it shouldn't be less than 2, and specify the hoodie size and the color. And hitting the Add to Cut button. Now let's see how it looks in a shopping cart. Here is our discount. Purchasing the two hoodies with our promotion, the customer saves $13.50. Further in this video, we'll see how to configure another rule variation with the example each third bag with $20 off. Let's create a new rule from the cut price rules grid. We'll do it via duplicating one of the existing rules. This way, we won't need to fill in all the fields, we should just edit some of them. We should change the name of the promotion, each third back with a $20 discount. Specify the websites and customer groups. Let's set a coupon this time. In this example, we set only one coupon code, but with the extension you can automatically generate multiple coupon codes. Adjust users per coupon and per customer. 
Also, we can choose the appropriate time frames for our promotion and set the rule priority. Let's move to the Actions section and choose the rule variation, fixed discount for each third, sixth and ninth product. Then we will set the discount amount. Unlike the previous example, there will be a fixed discount instead of a percent one. And we will set our discount to be applied to each third item in a cart. Adjust the sorting settings and skip the items with a special price if needed. This time we're also going to use the discounts for all the products in the shopping cart. And we're going to leave the Discard Subsequent Rules option enabled. Now it's time to specify the products that will participate in the promotion. We'll choose the Bags category. Now saving the promotion and it appears in our cut price rules grid. Let's see how it will look for a customer. Let's go to the appropriate category page and add several bags to the shopping cart. Let it be Push It Messenger Bag, Overnight Duffel and Driven Backpack. Now we should proceed to the cart. For example, via the button View and Edit Cart. We can see the hoodie from the previous case and three various bags just added. This time to activate the discount we should apply the coupon. Let's type in BAGS2019. After the appropriate coupon code is applied and the shopping cart is updated, you will see that the rule works correctly. Further in this video, we'll see how to configure another rule variation. With our example, each fifth Luma analog watch for $40. Let's have a look what settings will be needed to correctly configure the rule. We're creating a new rule, type in the promotion name, adjusting the websites and customer groups. In this case, we'll set a coupon code WATCH. Adjusting users per coupon and per customer as in the previous case and also we can change the timeframes and to set the rule priority. In the Actions section, we're choosing the rule variation each 5th, 10th, 15th for fixed price. Adding the discount amount in this rule variation, it will be a fixed price. And these settings can be configured the same way like in the previous example. Also, we should specify the product that will participate in the offer. In our case, it is Luma Analog Watch with the particular SKU. All we need to do is just type this SKU here. Now let's save our promotion and see how it will work on the storefront. We're going to the Watch category page and add a Luma Analog Watch to the cut. Here we may adjust the quantity. It should be not less than 5. Now let's view the shopping cart. We can see the watch and the hoodie from the previous case here. This time we should apply the coupon code watch. After coupon is applied, the discount works correctly. As you see, it was applied only to the fifth Luma analog watch. Thank you for your attention. Please let us know what new video tutorials would be interesting to you. Stay tuned!